you were watching HLN on this first day of spring. So glad you're with us. I'm Susan Hendricks. Our top story. Well, Democratic leaders are still trying to round up the 216 votes needed to pass the bill. Our Republicans, meanwhile, have vowed to do everything they can to kill the health care bill. They say nothing, not even the new estimates on how much the bill will cut the deficit will change their opinion of it. It looks like Florida taxpayers will cover some of Casey Anthony's legal bills. Some unbelievable video here. A woman was hit by an SUV. It was caught on tape. We have it's a startling statistic. Nearly one in eight Americans is on food stamps. Well, now it looks like efforts to prevent fraud have created new opportunities for scammers. A 10 week undercover operation revealed transactions for alcohol, cigarettes, even cold hard cash. And it could be costing you millions. Take a look. One woman says she took her Toyota in for recall work. And Pope Benedict the 16th says he is truly sorry for the sexual abuse victims suffered at the hands of Catholic priests in Ireland. The Pope's 18 page letter was made public today and is expected to be read in churches across Ireland tomorrow. The country has been shaken by a recent government backed report that found the Archdiocese of Dublin and other Catholic Church authorities in Ireland covered up child abuse by priests from 1975 until 2004. Allegations of abuse in the Catholic Church have been made in six countries, including the Pope's native Germany. We certainly cover a lot of them, and you never know how a police chase is going to end. But police in Atlanta have arrested a 20-year-old man who may have killed a teenager for his cell phone. One woman says she had a problem with her Toyota even after she took care of the recent recall. This is the... Across the nation, big lenders are finding when it comes to delinquent homeowners, foreclosure may not be their best bet. HLN Money expert Clark Howard explains what this means for people struggling with their mortgage payments. You are watching HLN on this first day of spring. So glad you're with us. I'm Susan Hendricks. Our top story. Well, Democratic leaders are still trying to round up the 216 votes needed to pass the bill. Our Republicans, meanwhile, have vowed to do everything they can to kill the health care bill. They say nothing, not even the new estimates on how much the bill will cut the deficit will change their opinion of it. And stay with HLN throughout the weekend, and we will keep you up to date on the health care showdown. Right now, though, some of the other stories making headlines. It looks like Florida taxpayers will cover some of Casey Anthony's legal bills. Some unbelievable video here. A woman was hit by an SUV. It was caught on tape. We Pope Benedict the 16th letter on Ireland's abuse of priests will be released today. Allegations of sexual abuse in the Catholic Church have been made in six countries, including the Pope's native Germany. When the it's a startling statistic. Nearly one in eight Americans is on food stamps. Well, now it looks like efforts to prevent and fraud have created new opportunities for scammers. A 10 week undercover operation revealed transactions for alcohol, cigarettes, even cold hard cash. And it could be costing you millions. Take a look. Authorities believe during the past year, 16 stores in Florida alone defrauded taxpayers of three and a half million dollars. Officials say they can't provide an accurate number on the nationwide consequences, but they estimate it reaches into the billions of dollars. Africanized bees killed a dog and sent its owner running out of his clothes. George Wood. We are keeping an eye on the flooding in the Midwest. We go to meteorologist Reynolds Wolf, who is live in Moorhead, Minnesota. Reynolds, how's it looking there? Well, I'll tell you, thanks right now. Here is an example of new technology actually doing some good. Find actress Demi Moore at Nia Vardalis' Twitter account may have helped stop an 18-year-old from committing suicide. It will be a few days before a South African sculpting team finds out if it's created the world's largest chocolate rabbit. Looks like they have, though. They're what are the odds that two brothers from Canada would make the NCAA tournament, let alone play against each other in a first-round game? Well, it did happen last night. Joe Carter is more on this unlikely matchup. Hi, Joe. Hi, Susan. It's a pretty amazing story. Chris one woman says she took her Toyota in for recall work. One woman says she had a problem with her Toyota even after she took care of the recent recall. This is the seven more banks have shut down and three of them are in Georgia. The others were in Ohio, Utah, Alabama, also Minnesota. Federal regulators moved in yesterday and took them over. Now, the FDIC was able to find other financial institutions to buy all of the troubled banks except the one in Utah. 37 banks have failed so far this year. We certainly cover a lot of them, and you never know how a police chase is going to end. But 
A man may have been caught on camera doing the unthinkable, stealing money from Girl Scouts. Police in Atlanta have arrested a 20-year-old man who may have killed a teenager for his cell phone. Apple CEO Steve Jobs and Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger have joined forces to push organ donation in the state of California. Jobs, who is a liver transplant recipient, said he almost died waiting for an organ. He Across the nation, big lenders are finding when it comes to delinquent homeowners, foreclosure may not be their best bet. HLN money expert Clark Howard explains what this means for people struggling with their mortgage payments. Time is running out for Congress to make up its mind about reforming the country's health care system. You are watching HLN on this first day of spring. So glad you're with us. I'm Susan Hendricks. Our top story. Well, Democratic leaders are still trying to round up the 216 votes needed to pass the bill. Our Republicans, meanwhile, have vowed to do everything they can to kill the health care bill. They say nothing, not even the new estimates on how much the bill will cut the deficit will change their opinion of it. And stay with HLN throughout the weekend, and we will keep you up to date on the health care showdown. Right now, though, some of the other stories making headlines.